Now, this is quite important, which fits best. OK, so there will be some distractor answers. That means they're trying to uh, weed out the students who just hear something and think, oh, that must be the answer because it's something like what's in the um, what's in the question. And um, that is not always the case. So you have to be careful of those distractors. <laughs> Don't write the first answer that um, you hear. Um, you'll have time to read each question before you listen and uh, complete your answers as you listen. Obviously, don't try and do it afterwards um, because you won't have time. Um, right, I'm just going to get the audio sorted. Uh, OK, well, let's actually, before I do the audio, before we start, let's have a look at the first question, question number 25. I'm assuming that everyone can see it, um, unless I hear differently. Uh, OK, I'll just assume everyone can see it. Um, Oh, I have a chat message here. Great, says Alex. OK. OK, good. Right. So you will see here that it says you'll, you hear an optometrist talking to a patient who's trying contact lenses for the first time. OK, mm -hmm. now this gives you really important information about what you are going to hear. OK, so you can start thinking about, you know, what sorts of things do optometrists talk to patients about? in terms of contact lenses. Um, then you can look down at the question, what is the patient concerned about? His blurred vision, soreness in his eyes, and how to remove the lenses. So what you should be doing is um, thinking about uh, keywords and trying to predict synonyms that might come up. You're gonna be listening for synonyms because obviously the information that comes on the recording is not gonna be exactly the same as that in the question. Sometimes it will be, um, but generally not because they want to uh, check your comprehension skills, your ability to listen for synonyms and uh, for um, important information. So how could, so, so here, for example, let's just start with this question. What is the patient concerned about? So actually, this gives you a clue as to what you need to listen for. You don't need to listen for when the optometrist is speaking so much. I mean, you have to listen to the whole conversation, but the answer will come in what the patient says, okay? Um, so that's quite key. Um, and then let's think of some synonyms for these words and phrases before we actually start to listen. So his blurred vision, how could we, what, what synonym could we have for that? So perhaps, you guys could write in the chat box or um, in the Facebook um, comments, uh, A, B and C synonyms that you think will come for those words and phrases. OK, how will they say them in the recording? OK, so I'm just going to wait for those to come through. <laughs> 